hi hi welcome to the channel thank you for watching do please subscribe today we are down with the guys at Clipper Marine to have a look at this 2007 Fairline Targa 40 now I'm of an age where Fairline Targa 40s were pretty much a stock standard boat if you wanted a 40 foot boat this is the one you would have now Princess do a similar version but these were everywhere and very very popular did an incredible job for Fairline at the time this whole section here opens up hydraulically and gives you access to your tender garage spading platform down here that looks like a letterbox passerelle down here let's have a quick peek no storage there you go step forward and you've got your shore power down there quite nice there's a little recess in here just to put your life raft so it's not it's easy to access obviously it's a great place to get a life raft out because with the boat sinking it needs to be near the water line this is that massive sun pad that sits underneath or above the tender garage it's got the, uh, the tonneau cover on at the moment but you then get a really nice large open space if i take a step back try not to fall in the water a lot of socializing space I imagine a beautiful day all the covers are off all your family and friends are here with you great space there is a little door here just to stop people rolling and falling off the back this backrest section here pops forward like so i put it caught on the cushion but you get the idea to give you a backrest to sun lounge on above the tender garage we'll have a look at, on the way out but in there is access to the engine bay little storage cupboard in there and obviously access to the gas bottle it's another look at that seating area table unfolds go in and out I'm, I don't know but I'm guessing that may well drop down and give you an infill I'm not sure you need to check with the guys at Clipper Marine I'm also pretty confident that this is not the original seating but I could be wrong I think it's been re refabricated. mini bar and grill over this side so underneath the lid we have a electric grill conventional fridge down there and on the starboard side we have the helm and on the port side another sort of l-shaped area for seating because of the age of this boat as you would imagine comes with raymarine one raymarine e e120 sorry now this is your nose of this is the one we've got on our broom 450 very very capable navigator it isn't touch screen to be fair but it does do everything you need that is then matched up to the speed and log so it gives you depth of water speed of traveling and obviously a trip array of carling switches as you would expect to see quite nice to see a chart table so you can put your, your real chart down there in case this all decides to go wrong don't get me wrong they do occasionally go wrong they are electronic the usual gauges you'd expect older style electronic morse controls bow thruster which is pretty much a must on, on a boat of this size trim cap trap controls and then down here you have your VHF radio which is linked to your navigator conventional helm stick as you would expect with a pop-up bolster but it's quite nice because it looks like it pivots around so you can make it into a social seat face everybody else while you're eating and drinking but obviously it's best to face forward when you're driving I say we mentioned it before but all of these covers zip out or you can just take out this front cover here when you're going along to give you better visibility because those plastic screens can get a bit hard to see through on a, on a poorly lit day standard compass engine rpms and these two here with a question with the exclamation mark are um, your the lights the warning lights will pop up on those and then you have paired switches so paired gauges voltage engine pressure engine temperature so you can keep an eye on those engines when you're going along bit of storage down here and then quite logically access here down into the cabin so it's quite a drop down this is of an age of boat where they didn't have massively high superstructures but there is still again you know if we turn the camera around and have a look there's still really good headroom down here so we've just come down those steps we'll take a few steps back you get an idea of the size of it down here nice c-shaped seating lovely table storage running all the way across the back here and one of them i can never remember which end might be this end 
I think it has the electronics in. Nope, that's crisps. <laughs> equally important on the boat, equally important. Let's try this end. Nope, oh, but it has got Marmite. So this boat has then got um, Wavasto warm air heating, which are these vents here. Opening ports, which is always nice to get a breeze through. On the starboard side, we have the galley. Nice large fridge, conventional oven. And then under here will probably be gas, I would imagine. Yeah, gas hob. This oven has got a little mini cock worktop cooker, sorry. Ventilation again through the port lights. Double sinks, which are really nice. Gives you somewhere to wash and somewhere to drain. Bit of storage space here, there you go. That is your switch panel. So that gives you access to your 240, your mains voltage and all your trips. Fisher Panda generator, great little generators, we've got one of those. And conventional stereo system down here. Bit of storage under the sink. There you go, as you would expect. A couple of drawers under there, and there's another storage unit under here for glasses and drinks. And this whole section here lifts up and gives you access to the waste bin. So we'll start, I think, by going aft, which takes us into the aft cabin, which is, again, decent headroom. Decent headroom when you step in. There's an axle, there's a light here with a blind. There's a bit of storage down there. There's a couple of cupboards under here, which are quite nice. And I think under here is a little sink. So you do your teeth, wash your hands, face, whatever, before you go to bed. Little um, sort of mini sofa down there. Nice that there's an opening port for ventilation. And down here you have a large mirror, extra storage. And if I sit on this bed, it gives you an idea. Two decent size single berths. TV mounted on the end here. There's ventilation through to the aft cockpit and there's exterior side ventilation through the other window so you can get a breeze right the way through here. But what also is nice, I don't know where you can see on the camera, there's a recessed step down here. So you can actually, when you're going into bed, step down here rather than climbing across the beds. So if we look at it back the other way, obviously TV, opening port, little sofa. But a really nice cabin. And if I'm brutally honest, I actually prefer these aft cabins, particularly if you're out at sea at anchor, because you don't get the slap, 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 slap on the hull that you do if you're in the bow. So that's the aft cabin, back into the cockpit, a few steps forward, and to starboard takes us into the day heads, or the main heads actually, as it is on this boat. Nice holly antique floor, loo, sink, array of storage. Oh, by the way, before anybody asks, now I'm not sponsored by Raymarine, I just like the hat. And a shower with one of those circular showers. So that shower unit slides around. I if I can do it here. Slides around like that, really neat. Locks in like so, and gives you the ability to shower without spraying water all over the place. There is then, quite logically, another door through. So this is a sort of Jack and Jill system. So you can come in one door from the uh, main saloon and you can then come in or go out through this door which takes you to the forward cabin which we won't do because I've got the other door open so we'll step out into the saloon shut that door and then a couple of steps forward takes you into the main master large center line bed a couple of port lights one either side lots of storage I'm not going to open too many cupboards there's another little storage recess there and a couple around the front because this boat's on brokery, so it actually currently belongs to somebody, and I don't want to peek into their private life. More storage down there, and another uh, opening port light there. And then a large, round, four-deck hatch, which again gives ventilation, as you can see. It's illuminating the front of the bed quite nicely, but also acts as an emergency hatch if you need to get out. So there you go. So, saloon, aft cabin, stairs up to the cockpit, really really usable galley really friendly nice open space that then gives access to the cockpit which has a again seating here helm station and a really sociable open space you can imagine a beautiful day people are playing in the water people are sunbathing you can sit here leave the bimini on for a bit of shade have a really really nice day at sea so let us have a quick 
quick peek around the forward deck first. So big cleat down there, rail starts here. There's a lovely grab handle here to get yourself up onto the side deck. There's another transitioning grab handle here. And then by the time you get to here, you could, if the cut tonneau was off, grab here, or equally you've got access down here to the rail. It's a wastewater uh, pump out there. A couple of steps forward takes you to the fore deck. Midships cleat. I don't know if this boat has it to be fair, but you can get cushions that fit in here. And then obviously you've got cup holders, grab rails there as well when you're going along. And right the way forward, as you can see through here, it's a Lumar windlass or anchor winch. And a nice, quite a lot of chain by look of things and some room there to chuck a few fenders down. Anchor at the front. And if we turn around, oh, there's these switches. So these are foot operated switches. So if you're, you haven't got a remote or you're not at the helm, you can push those with your foot to move the anchor up and down. That's the escape hatch port light we looked at from the forward cabin. And that is a Fairline Target 40. You can see right at the top there, we have the radar and there's a searchlight which seems to be looking for aeroplanes, uh, a couple of nav lights and a fairly conventional VHF. Um, radio mast. We'll pop down this side and then we'll go and have a quick look in the engine bay. And then down here you've got your water filler and your diesel filler. And a nice little step so you can just drop around the corner here. Try and do that without falling in. So this is engine access. So we'll pop this up. Goes up on a little gas strut like so and that gives us one step down into the engine bay so there's the Fisher Pounder generator really neatly in its own sort of casing to keep it quiet there's the Volvo Penta engines quite nicely someone's actually had made because I don't think these are standard belt covers so normally at the front of the engines you'd have the belts whizzing around when the engines are running that does make it hard if you're down here when the engines are when the boat's going along or the engines are running, but it also means if anything like that, say wet vac, drifted forward and hit the engines, it would destroy the belt and obviously destroy the, uh, the little um, vacuum pump. So these are D6 350s. I'll put all the engine specification in the details below. A bit more space around the back there, and then you've got your fuel tanks, one on this side, and one over there on the other side. And then behind us, if I spin round, you've got your fuel system. So water filters and separators, sea strainer. I think that's the fuel filter or diesel filter for the generator. And then the switchover system, so you can change the fuel round. Sea fire control system, and then these two chaps here are the engine fans. So they draw all the smells and fumes out of the engine bay. So there you go. That is, let's just drop this back down actually, before I forget. That is a Fairline Targa 40, 2007. Thank you very much the guys at Clipper Marine. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time round.